Hello, good afternoon. Uh, this is David Sugar talking to you, and uh, today I'm going to talk to you about uh, how to trade buying options uh, using a 30 minute chart and uh, also using uh, IQ options. Okay, and I just received a, a trade alert for uh, GBP CHF. Okay, I'm using a 30 minute chart. I have all my uh, pa pa uh, currency pairs that. Uh, IQ options offers on, loaded on my easy harmonic okay and my MetaTrader so um, here we do not have a harmonic pattern but we had a harmonic pattern here earlier and it kept trending up so we know that we have a really really strong uh, uptrend right now now we see this uh, resistance line formed here and it's uh, basically it's a four hour uh, 30 minute and one hour Let's look at the higher time frames and kind of compare a little bit see if we would think it's going to go up anymore all right now look at the one hour all right one hour shows a strong sell with harmonic pattern so that's excellent okay and four hour shows a strong sell as well but it broke the four hour resistance here so um we don't know if it's going to keep going up. On the daily, it's showing a strong buy. That's going to go up. And the daily resistance is way up here. But um, there's a lot that could happen in between now and in the next couple of days. So typically, if you're using a 30-minute chart like this, you want to try to stick with um, the one-hour and four-hour charts for confirmation. So for right now, we see that it's a strong sell and it's already come down some. Go back to the 30 minute. You see how it shot up here and it's come back down. And then it formed this resistance line right here. It looks like it's holding. So what I want to do is uh, place uh, about a one hour um, put trade. And uh, we'll go from there and just see what happens, okay? So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to choose this quarter after midnight now. So I'm going to go over here and select the time, and I'm going to do, well, I'm going to give me 45 minutes. That'll be fine. And I just place put, and we're good to go. And I'm going to watch this come back down and see what happens. So right now we're in the money, little by little, and I'm going to pause the video, and I'll come back to about 45 minutes and then see what happens, okay? See you in a few minutes. Hello, I'm back now, and um, this trade is well on the money. I got less than a minute left on the trade, and if we look at the uh, MetaTrader, we see that the price, that the trade has been steadily dropping. Um, it's not too far down, but um, excuse me, go back to IQ options, but it is well below the um, entry point. So. Um, was okay here we go it just dropped under one minute so <clears throat> it will um close in the money and um what i did was just to recap all right so i got a i had a signal come in and what i like to do is place all my trades all my um, currency pairs on a 30 minute chart and wait to the next candle to form before placing a uh, trade okay and the reason being is because sometimes these uh, super signals will repaint and you do not have to always have a harmonic pattern if you have a harmonic pattern then great and but just make sure you have a super signal also with the harmonic pattern probably about 99% of the time you're gonna have a super signal along with the harmonic pattern but just make sure you do occasionally there's not and if there's not and don't trade but even so um, um, I like to look at uh, let me see Let's see I, I trade just closed in profit so which is great uh, so anyhow I like to you know when I get a, a alert on a 30 minute chart I like to look at the one hour and four hour also to see if there's another uh, super signal you look at this super signal here up arrow 
and you compare it on a 30 minute chart, you see that there was two, which probably was this one here, <coughs> and probably not this one. So, meaning that uh, one of those uh, super one of those super signals, let's see here, maybe it was this one and not that one. Either way, um, if you don't have a super signal on the hourly as well, then don't trade. All right. If you have one in the four hour, then that's even greater. All right. But it's not, you know, 100% necessary. <clears throat> but uh, having one in the four hour as well would really help you. But since we're doing, you know, a 45 minute to one hour expiration, then, you know, t typically 30 minute will be. 30 minute and one hour charts will be plenty. Okay. But do wait till the next uh, candle to uh, place your trade and just see if it's going up. And uh, one thing I'd like to point out also is watch the volume indicator down here. Okay. Make sure you have the right click on your chart here. Make sure you have the volume selected here. Okay. And when there's a lot of volatility, a lot of these bars are real high right here, that means you have a lot of uh, movement in the market. That's a really good time to trade. When the market is slow, like right now the market is slowing down, and it's lunchtime in America right now, so that means um, the market is slowing down. Everybody's going to eat lunch, and you'll see different, there's different periods throughout the day when there's very very little movement in the market, and you also see the candles right here will be very small, and then the market will pick back up, and then the candles will be pretty big. That means there's a lot of movement in the market. So if you follow my uh, example here, you see that this trade won, obviously. This trade here would definitely would have won, even if you went to the next second candle, okay? This one here uh, would have won. It probably would come up and come back down, but if you got in on this candle here, it definitely would have won. Um, <clears throat> this one here would have won. This one here would have won. And this one here, if you place if you place on the second candle, you would have lost. And even though you had a harmonic pattern, now if you would have placed it the moment you got it, you know you might have won. I don't know if this repainted or not. So you know, looking back in history, it's hard to tell. It could have repainted, and you could have got it on this uh, candle, and it would have won. <clears throat> All right, this one here definitely would have won. This one here definitely would have won. This one here uh, definitely would have won, and this one here definitely would have won. All right, this put trade. This one here most likely would not have won. All right, but it, you place the call trade on the second candle here, and then it would go up and come back down. And the candle, the candles didn't really move much at all. But like I said, if you have the volume indicator showing low down here, with very little movement. I wouldn't even place a trade on this. I probably wouldn't have placed a trade here either. But just for illustration, it probably would have won. So these two here, I probably wouldn't even have placed. This one here would have won. I would have placed that trade. If I placed it on the second candle, it would have come down and back up. It might have lost. But um, looking at it, it probably would have won. It's hard to say. But we can we can say it, it might have lost. This one here, if you uh, place a trade on the second candle, it would have won. This one here would have won. This one here would have won. And this one here uh, most likely would have won too. <clears throat> so you have uh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, we won't count those. Six, seven, eight. Count this one here. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen trades. All right, I have 15 trades. This one I would have lost, and this one I might have lost. And this one might have lost us three. So you would have had about three out of 15 trades that would have lost. All right, if you want, you know, you follow my rules here. <clears throat> so that's a pretty good uh, winning ratio in binary options. So um, I don't.
think you can go really too wrong using my methods and indicators. Uh, I like IQ options. I'll probably do more videos on how to use IQ options. Their platform is very simple to use and very intuitive. They have a lot of indicators you can add, change the time frames, and so forth. So it's almost like using the MetaTrader, but you can now install custom indicators like I can. All right. So we use the MetaTrader here with the easy harmonic just for trade confirmation. And um, you can see your pivot points and reversals. And then based on this, we place our trade over here in IQ Options. And we use a 45 minute to one hour expiration. Uh, typically, um, you know, you can get about a 45 minute expiration and you should be fine. All right. So if you have any questions, uh, please contact me on Facebook. Uh, there's a link below the, you know, this video in the description. Uh, if you have not joined my Facebook group, there will also be a link to that. And you can feel free to post any questions um, that you may have in my Facebook group. And uh, me or one of my staff will get back to you. And we'll try to help you as much as possible. Okay? Thank you. Have a wonderful day.